Ah, morning everybody. It's a bloody nippy Sunday morning. Of all the days to pick, I ended up picking a, a bloody uh, wind chill factor minus three, I think. And, uh, oh God, it's bitter. One consolation is, the mud has gone. It's turned into rock hard, uh, rock hard, uh, I don't get my bloody words out, it's gold. It's rock hard anyway. <laughs> All right, so I've just left, uh, or in the process of leaving uh, Quarry Park, heading towards Barnby Dunn. I'm not sure uh, where I'm gonna go. I just thought today, I'll just get out. I'm gonna get an hour or two under my belt, take it steady, and, because uh, this weather, you put layers on to keep warm before you start. If you exert yourself too much, you end up getting bloody red hot. Then you cool down and it's cold. So I'm just going to do a steady pace today. I'm just going to head up to that bar we done and uh, see, uh, see where the mood takes me, let's say. Yeah, it's a nice single... Uh, Come on, Daniel, I'd wake up. Yeah, it's a nice uh, off road uh, path this from uh, Alfred, uh, from the Quarry Park to uh, Barnby Dunn. Because in the railway, if it hadn't been frozen, I wouldn't come down here too much. Oh. Hello. Oh yeah, thank you. This guy, all this frozen uh, water. It reminds me of a kid when he used to walk to school, went on all the ice. Oh, it's all dry now. Brill. It's just bloody freezing. Oh, God, dear. Got my onesie on. That's keeping a lot of the wind out. Got my uh, balaclava on behind my face. Keeping my rosy cheeks warm. Thick gloves. Oh. So, I am quite toast. Everything's tickety boo. Just coming through Barnby Dunn. Barnby Dunn Primary School. You can up to the old church. Hiya. Yeah, Barnby Dunn Church. I think it's one of the local churches that gets uh, overlooked really, maybe because of its location. I'm not a religious guy, but uh, I do like the magnificence of these buildings, the architecture of them, particularly when you look at when they were built, compared to what else was being built at the time. Yeah, fascinating. This must be old bar middle then. And ahead will be the canal. I've been down many a time. I think I might go down it again today. And I won't go down the right side towards Kirk Brown. I'll go the left side towards Kirk Sandal, I think. So I'll do. Cherries, aren't they? Very nice. Yeah. Get on the toe path. Gosh. Oh, yeah. See what we've got. 
And it looks like I can't get any further up here because they blocked it off. Yeah, after a slight detail because the uh, towpath was uh, closed back on it. I thought the uh, canal might be frozen. Doesn't seem to be. All floodlands over there is all frozen. Big lakes now from the flooded last few weeks. down there as well that's all flooded and iced up thick ice yeah there's a thin layer of ice on the uh, on the canal I don't think the GoPro can pick it up but it's, uh, it's clear as a bell up here to see I think I'm gonna take a left into this little woody plantation and head towards Glassmaker yeah. Yeah, if you've never been down this little bit, it's, uh, it's ideal, beautiful in the summer, particularly uh, if it's a red hot day, because you can just get some shelter from the leaves and the trees. Been down here before. I'll go and explore. See what we got. Up to the seated area. I think this is a glassmaker recreation ground. I think. Oh, it is. Let's have a look. Ah, the glass park. There it is. Yeah, all right. The glass park. Oh. That's for the old bowling green. Football field, isn't it? I know there's a lane down there. This is the uh, Lancaster Road. So, I'll head towards the, the There's the exit. He's an ugly bridge this. But it's still fascinating. And down there is the Kirk Sandal station. Take us to uh, the Glassmaker pub. Oh, the glass house now, God, yeah. I can't remember when it was, I think it was late 80s, early 90s, we caught fire. I did it all right. Looks nice now, glass house. Could do with these bloody pubs being open. That we could do with, hopefully uh, they will be soon. Yeah, let's get crossed over Danny lad. Ooh. Lane onto uh, Lancaster Avenue. 
I think these were the houses that built for the Pilkington workers. I'm not sure. That's a beautiful uh, style of houses. Quite spacious actually, in terms of the, uh, the pathways in the road. Yeah, St Helen's Square. Have a look in here. I think these are the uh, the Pilkington houses. I do stand corrected if anybody uh, knows more than me, please let me know. But I do like these. Probably reminds me of being an holiday down south or something. Well, not conducive for cars. Nice little square. Because it's very quiet today. Like an episode out at Bloody Walking Dead. Yeah, it's, I know it's Sunday. Oh, Red Church. I don't know much about this one. Thomas of Canterbury. Hi, uh, Catholic Church. Like they've been uh, cutting down, felling some trees. If anybody wants any uh, gardening uh, work, hedges, small tree felling, cutbacks, tidy, tidy in the gardens, etc. Done a lot of gardening services, I'm more than happy. Just check me out on Facebook, done a lot of garden services, and uh, use a shout. More than happy to come and have a look and give you a quote. As long as you've got a nice hot brew at this time of year, <laughs> I'll be happy. So we've just come onto Brex Lane, we're going to cross this, we'll go over to the little uh, wood that runs towards this goes. All being well. Before they built the houses here, I used to come here as a kid in the 80s on the bikes. Obviously not designed for uh, such terrain. But it's uh, got to be stuff going on here. It's still got some of its uh, charming character about it. Tracks like this. Yeah, it used to be all the way right down here, full of little jumps and stuff. Today's my hard bottle. So this will take us roughly in line with the uh, Eden Arms. But I'm going to go up to this house and go left into the field, I think, and try and get into uh, Eden Thought Woods, known as a long plantation.
was going to Hill Road. God, dear. So just coming into Eden Thought now. Tesco's on the right. And we're going to go up uh, the bridle path on the left, meet a lane, and then take the long plantation and come out at the uh, the link road to the motorway. It seems, since we're getting to Edenthorpe, the snow's gone, the temperature's risen, the ground is no longer hard and firm but soft and muddy. Amazing. Just gonna follow this path follow it all the way around the wood instead of going through the wood I think ever since they designated this land to be built on before Covid people have took to uh, the, outer, the outer edges of the field and made it into a path you can see how wide it is it's a bit of a change from going into woods So I've come out of the woods onto Link Road here. And this is the junction that's uh well if you continue down here take us to M4 junction 4 at uh, M18 but I'm only gonna go a third of a mile if that half a mile and uh, we're gonna go into the industrial estate. I come this way because it's downhill. <laughs> And, uh, through the industrial estate and uh, towards next big distribution centre. Next, massive. Seems to be a lot of RDCs around here, regional distribution centres. IKEA, next, I think there's another one up here, massive one. It's the uh, accessibility to the motorway, M18. Massive. Of uh, path around here, then Ooh. let's do this, then, Danny lad. Nice, good size of that massive fence that connect four, isn't it? <laughs> Slopping them through. Yeah, let's see where this goes. I'm hoping it brings us out on Fiddler's, uh, Fiddler's Drive. Get you up in prison wall, that, isn't it? Huge. I wouldn't say it's uh, flooded water, but uh, looking further back down there, there's a load of reeds, so it must be some sort of regular flooded area, but still frozen. Still frozen, even though it's warming up now. Yeah. Wind's got up. Back onto Fiddlers. Or the, uh, the path to Fiddlers. There we go. Let's pass this uh, blockade and then turn left. Somebody mentioned not so long back about me breathing out of breath. Well, I am and I'm not. I do suffer from uh, shallow breathing. Uh, and obviously, shallow breathing, I'm not getting enough air. I have to breathe a bit quicker than most. But I'm not out of breath. I'm not panting as such, even though it just sound it. It's just, uh, it's just how it is. I've had it for some time, and I hope it just goes as quickly as it comes. But uh, no, I'm not going to peg it or, or fall over. I just have to breathe a little bit quicker and a little bit shallower than you guys. Uh, no idea where it bloody came from. I just did. It's, uh, put it down with the, uh, the list of many other ailments that I've had <laughs> over years. You get rid of some then you get some more. But it doesn't affect me so much. Uh, like I say, as long as the uh, airways aren't blocked then uh, I'm fine. 
So I'm rest assured, I'm not tired, out of breath and struggling, just the way I am. Uh, yeah, back onto rain that I'm familiar with. If you've seen a few of my early videos, been down here a few times. It takes us under the uh, under the M18 and then across to Gatewood Road, I think it is in Branton. Oh, the gauze is coming out in flower now. Not the first signs of spring, really. I wonder how treacherous this uh, path's going to be. There's a few bikes down here, but I can also, it's a big, uh, very familiar or popular with walkers. Some churn it all up, don't they? Let me see if we've got another cross country biker in front. Very clean, clean, luminous green top. a fan of uh, Donny Lads. I better hang back, he might want me autograph. I can't deal with fame. Alright, so we're back on, or well, we're on to Gatehouse Road. Left is Branton, and we'll go straight on. Takes us uh, to the bridge, but I'm not going that far, I want to cut across. Spring, summer. This is just a canopy of leaves. It's beautiful. I suppose it's, uh, it's just as beautiful now, but in a different way. To see the tunnel, <laughs> the trees, branches. Kind of. Yeah, this route will be on uh, Vistrava. All my video uh, um, routes are all documented on Strava, I only use Strava now for uh, the videos. Uh, by all means take a look, hit me on Donny Lad uh, MTV Facebook page as well, any pictures that I've taken today. Okay, well, it's, uh, it's not long till spring, it'd be nice just to see uh, some leaves, some buds at least, on the trees. And then I'll be into bluebell season. When it comes, it comes quick. Hummel route, loads of bluebells in there, and it also takes me onto Warnington Lane. And these have come this way. But today, I thought uh, it was a bit different. I'm thinking I might be able to get round here. He says, I'll try. All depends how soft the ground is. See if I can get around here. I haven't done this part before. I'm hoping the path is suitable and firm enough to take me around the outskirts of this field and into the, uh, the housing estate there. Seems it. At least it's not churned up. I don't know how many of these paths are actual legal paths as opposed to the locals taking the dogs for a walk <laughs> and just making them into a path I think it's the latter I think I should better get out of here let's see oh well, there is a dog way bin so it must be some sort of formal path alright here we go Ooh. Uh, I'm going to 
head up to uh, the Yorkshire Wildlife, the old Broxholm uh, farm as it was. It's a bridle path. Takes us down the side of the Yorkshire Wildlife. We're miles 23 and I brought him when he was about three or four down here because it was the entrance and it was just a farm with the donkeys and goats and now it's a bloody zoo <laughs> So we're actually at uh, Yorkshire Wildlife, Safari Village, can't hear any animals. They all must be in there somewhere. God, they spent some money on this place. Spent some money on it. Just hope there's no bloody lions roaming over there. Oh, shice, there is there. <laughs> for animal. Uh, this used to be Rock Souls Farm, then we used to go and see animals. Ooh. No loose uh, lions then. <laughs> That's good. Still one of the places that I've never been to. A massive transformation to what it was. Rhino cow park. So I've come out of the wildlife park, bridle path all the way through, took a left onto Warrington Lane and now heading up towards Hayfield Lakes. Quiet today. Been a while since I've come down here as well, about 10 months. So, this is one of the, uh, the lakes at Hayfield. It's lovely the sun out, a bit of ice still on the water, the green grass and then this side we have the other lake again a bit of ice on the water so picturesque and quiet only thing missing is the fisherman so I'm sure they'll be back in time. Yeah. Comes the end of the rattle, but okay, I'll go down this lane. I'll carry on. Carry on taking it to where well, you can see the traffic there. Takes me to the uh, the Yorkshire Way. Let's go down here. Let's go down here. Uh, hello. I think last time I come down here was it early 90s, isn't it? Yeah. Vehicles are no longer um, allowed down here from the top of the main road. You have to go through uh, hayfields to get there. Hayfields, bar, family, restaurant, all closed because of Covid. Yeah, this road uh, used to be able to access uh, Binley uh, Airport on Airport Day from the main uh, Borchy Road. But it was that narrow, I think uh, over time they've, uh, they've shut it off. Made it into a pedestrian zone. It's a bloody bedlam down here on air, air display day in September. And uh, Finnerley was RF Finnerley. Oh, God. 
does he come from? Not from there, they're not too off. And we should see a familiar sight. If anybody follows the Doncaster Cycles, Trails and Paths uh, group, we should see a familiar sight. Well, that's spoil it. Uh, this used to be the entrance. Blocked it off now, but uh, the road used to come across here. You can see the giveaway sign, what's left of it. Okay. And there's a the familiar side, the big Y. But whilst I'm over here, I'll give it a little, uh, a little view. I think it's the uh, it's the main uh, banner for the cycle uh, Facebook page. Like paying homage, pilgrimage, <laughs> gotta be done. So it is actually a. Uh, um, park and ride. This thing. Yeah. We have it. The infamous Y at Rosington Park and Ride. Yep. On that particular landmark now. Let's use the uh, the bike, bloody Aki. See what it looks like from the other side. So, I need to plod on. Ooh, the Miller and Carter Steakhouse. Top steaks there. Yeah. Shame it's shut. Best steaks in Donny, though. So, I've come up the A630 Borchy Doncaster Road. Going over uh, the motorway now, past the Doncaster golf course and on the left is I can't remember the name show sure that will come to me Manor Farm Reserve that's what it is beautiful uh, sculptures in this area this is the first one whether or not I get to see any others I don't know as yet it's uh, yeah lovely is that a bit loud and uh, an acorn carved smashing yeah there's a little bridge here it takes us uh, the back uh, Back path to the golf course and onto the uh, the dikes. It's, uh, I want to find the pond and some more sculptures if we can. Oh crap! Problem is I can't see the bloody path. <laughs> Here we have the uh, the little pond. Ducks. It's quickly how uh, these houses have just gone up. It was on the edge of the, uh, the green waves between Doncaster and Rosington. All oh, this was a nature area and uh, floodplain. <laughs> so uh, I don't know why they build these houses on such things, but hopefully uh, the surveyors and the builders know what they're doing. Otherwise it's going to be very really costly for the, uh, the residents. It's going to go round the pond. 
seems that this track has uh, ceased on here but I need to go along the mud at least look at this little frog little frog carving cool isn't it <laughs> oh I do love sculptures like this <sighs> so we just come out of the housing estate onto Borgy Road and into uh, Gantley now deciding which way to go then we're going to church church lane and into uh, a little bit of a, a woody area I think yeah we'll follow this down it takes us into the the trees so the Texas alongside Brunton Road Tickets to Cantley Park. I'll tell you about on uh, three. Oh, it's so still in here. Can't believe how soft, uh, how soft, how firm this path is. the road here, follow this road through, we'll take us if it was a Cantley Park or Crow the Wood, I'm not too sure which way to go. <sighs> decisions, decisions, decisions. I think I'll go to Arnthorpe Pit. That's a good one. Arnthorpe Pit, I've been there for a while. So I can climb up uh, some of those uh, ascending uh, paths. That's what I'll do. Here we are, Gantley Park. You might see some uh, model aeroplanes uh, flying about. Seems not to be. Alright, we'll head this way. The, uh, Side of Rover's training ground and uh, head to Cantley Park, around the wood, and get to the uh, pit top. Or go around. Decisions, decisions. I know I need some bloody chocolate. Let's get some chocolate in a minute. So we're getting a lot of tail slap around here. Motorbike or two down here as well, but a shred. Oh, do this bloody hard. Oh. Roll on spring, Donny. Need a bit of wind. Dry all this wet terrain out. Make it a bit better on the, on the wheels. Bloody drain your legs. If you stop, you get stuck. Oh, here we go. Alright, 
out across the wood into uh, County Park Wood. Whereby, I'll treat myself to some chocolate. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, bandit. That's a little bit right now. In the sunshine. Snickers. Mm. Oh, they had one, but they're not diddy. It's a two, probably, is the size of one in it. Mm. Well, they do need mm. such luxury when you're out. Well, I don't. I love my chocolate. About 20 miles this link, 20, 21, 22, something like that. It's been a very pleasant ride. So we're at the bottom side of the, uh, the pits uh, area, and this will continue, bring us on to the uh, Arnfield Road, where the post office is. You know, we past the old uh, Arnfield School. I think it's the last school in the authority to get an upgrade. Bloody horrendous, what an old building that was. Very depressing. At least the new building looks nice. Yeah, taking me a lane now. It'll take us onto the uh, Link Road, up onto the subway. That's what Ethan thought. Everybody's out now, that sunshine's come oh, out. It is, it's lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Well, they've widened this path since I come down here as a kid. He's going to make his way to. Um, I don't know, actually. <laughs> Just keep going. Just keep going, none of lad. The old stomping ground, even thought. I do like little narrow uh, snickets, snickets or ginnels, whatever you want to call them. Some people have a preference, I call them both. remember it as but it's not because it used to be so small everything just looks well don't look as big 
fun in it as well. That's 40 odd years ago, 50 years ago nearly. Taylor, the old chemist. Yeah. Had some fun there, didn't we, lad? <laughs> yeah, had some fun. I'm going to head up to uh, up to the traffic lights and get crossed over, I think. Like in modern uh, estates, they don't have wide roads like this. The amount of bloody vehicles that are in these housing estates, it's bedlam. Once it's all to do with cash. A nice wide road would make the kit life a lot easier for folk. Back at Tesco's, quite an old estate now, 1980s, early 80s, 79, 80, until all this was built. God, it's bloody 40 years ago. Gosh. I remember all this when uh, the fields. It's a nice little estate. Well established now. So we've done a full circle basically, I'm uh, taking this path which will bring me out at the uh, Eden Arms near Tesco's and then I'm going to go on uh, Thorn Road back through Dunsville and to Quarry Park. So I'm going to end the video there guys, uh, it's been a nice steady run, a mixture freezing and then all of a sudden everything's melted and uh, it's gone warm and sunny, crazy. Uh, as I said earlier, the, uh, the Strava route will be, uh, oh sorry, this route will be on my Strava account, Don will add uh, MTB at Strava. Any pictures that I've taken today will go on to uh, Facebook, uh, Donny Dog, Donny Dog MTB, Donny Dog, you know, Donny, uh, Donny Lad MTB, Facebook. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and if uh, it's the first time you've uh, set eyes on my videos and you've managed to watch it all the way through and you're impressed please subscribe uh, if you've got any comments just put them down there and uh, hopefully guys I'll see you uh, again soon take care bye bye